What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today is Friday. That means Zer is back in the tower. He's hanging out right over here around the corner in the hangar. We're going to check out his inventory. And I'll give you guys some recommendations as well. Now, I would say pick up all three of these. Any one of these that you don't have is worth picking up. The Peregrine Greaves is probably the weakest of the three, but really entertaining. This is what I would this is what I would call a fun exotic. It's just fun to use. The main perk on this is Peregrine Strike. Shoulder charge deals bonus damage when activated in the air. This is super fun in PvP and in PvE. In PvP, if a enemy has a overshield or a sunsinger has radiance active, uh, you could still take them down in one shoulder charge. It's endlessly entertaining. In PvE, same thing goes, uh, especially if you're in a nightfall with arc burn on, uh, you can take down massive enemies with one shoulder charge. Again, it's just an entertaining piece of leg armor. It's not as useful constantly, especially in PvE, as Ruin Wings or or Armamentarium. But when you're using it, you have a lot of fun. So I definitely pick it up just for those times when you just want to fool around with it. Uh, as far as the roll goes, it's pretty good. Increase intellect, increase strength, shotgun ammo, machine gun ammo, and arc double down. Next up for the hunter. The Celestial Nighthawk, this is the helmet that you want to use if you're using a gunslinger in PvE. Big game. Golden Gun fires one shot, delivering 6x damage while granting keyhole for overpenetration. Very strong in PvE, nearly useless in PvP, but if you like running a gunslinger in PvE, you're definitely going to want to have this. Increase intellect, increase discipline, ashes to assets, heavy lifting, and better already make strong support perks. Next up, we got the Obsidian Mine for the Warlock. This one comes with Insatiable. Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. If you like being a Voidwalker, this thing is one of the best out there as far as exotics go. Using this in PvE play will constantly put you at the top of the leaderboard at the end of each strike or nightfall or whatever you're playing. Not only are you constantly throwing out Nova Bombs, killing everything in sight, but you're also creating tons of orbs for your allies. It's a very strong PvE helmet. I find it somewhat less useful in PvP because you it's less often that you actually get multiple kills with each Nova Bomb, uh, but in PvE, it's just top notch. Support perks, increase strength, increase intellect, hands-on, second thoughts, and innervation. A reroll probably would be recommended here, uh, but it's not absolutely necessary. Next, we have a gauntlet engram. So if you're looking for exotic gauntlets that you don't have yet, you can take your chances, spend 19 strange coins on this. Our year one legacy engram is a helmet this week. So if you're looking for a year one exotic helmet you can try your luck and spend 29 strange coins on that for curios we got plasma drive emerald coil heavy ammo synthesis three of coins glass needles and of course motes of light so it's actually a good week for Zer. nothing new but everything that he's got on offer is either super fun to use or very very useful and perhaps best in class so it's a good week for Zer. Although not particularly exciting if you already have all this stuff. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.